Here's a typical example of what not to do. This happens more than one would think in my office. I'm sitting with two people. We're not even in the mediation yet. We're just filing for the divorce. And one person <laughs> says to the other, well, I think I should take this opportunity now that we're in this environment to say some things that are on my mind. Okay, what that means is you're going to listen to something condescending, offensive, and horrible just come out of my mouth that's going to embarrass you in front of Judy. And so what comes out of the person's mouth is something like, well, you know how we decided that we were going to divide X? Well, you know that you generally forget what we decide, so I just want to say in front of Judy that you typically forget, and this is what we decided. Then the other person hangs their head, they're embarrassed, nothing comes out of their mouth, or they fight to defend themselves. And that's not at all what you want to have happen. If you want to use the opportunity in front of me when we're filing, when we're not even doing the mediation yet, just say, Judy, I have some things on my mind that I would like to discuss. How should I do it? Is this the right environment? And it's going to be things that I'm scared about, I'm concerned about, I'm uneasy about, and but I want to express them in a way that isn't hurtful and isn't offensive. Help me to do that. Now that's a couple that I can work with. That's a person who understands that communication is really important, but also understands how to communicate that there's something on their minds that they're concerned about and they don't know how to handle it. So these are people that are easy to work with or that I can guide through the process well.